Good morning. I'm Dr. Sanjay Razdan from the International Robotic Prostatectomy Institute here in Miami, Florida. Welcome to our series on prostate cancer. Today we'll be talking about robotic radical prostatectomy or RALP in short. What is robotic prostatectomy? A robotic radical prostatectomy is a curative treatment option for men with clinically localized prostate cancer. Surgery involves on block removal of the prostate and seminal vesicles followed by urethrovescular anastomosis that is re-establishing the urinary continuity. Removal of localized pelvic lymph nodes is often a part of this procedure. Now extirpation allows for accurate pathological grading and staging and makes treatment failures easy to identify if and when PSA becomes detectable after surgery. RALP has become the most commonly performed surgical option for men with localized prostate cancer and is currently considered the gold standard far away. Both our Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin in Washington and more recently our Miami Heat stalwart Alonzo Mourning chose robotic prostatectomy to treat their prostate cancer. Now compared to the open approach, RALP is associated with lower blood loss, lower transfusion rate and a shorter post-operative length of hospital stay. We pride ourselves at the International Robotic Institute for Prostate Cancer of having no transfusions in any of our patients in over 20 years. In addition, we were one of the first to publish our data on ambulatory robotic prostatectomy, in which our patients left the hospital within four hours of surgery and did very well indeed. That being said, the majority of our patients stay for about 43 hours and leave the next morning. Now, the most commonly reported functional side effects of RALP are urinary incontinence and erectile dysfunction. This is because the nerves responsible for erectile function run along the sides of the prostate and can often be damaged at the time of surgery. Preoperative urinary incontinence and erectile function have a long weightage on predicting postoperative outcomes. Patients need to have realistic expectations. In large population-based studies, urinary incontinence has been reported to be as high as 30% and erectile function as high as almost 70%. Improved functional outcomes come from increased surgical expertise and how meticulous your surgeon is in preserving the delicate nerves responsible for erectile function and the sphincteric mechanism for urinary control. At our institute, we have pioneered several techniques to improve urinary continence and erectile function after RALP. We have even published a textbook on this subject matter in 2016, and the most recent edition of this text will be available on the stands later this year. Using our technique of maximal urethral length preservation, or MALP in short, we are able to preserve mem the membranous urethral length as well as penile length. This transforms into preventing penile shortening and is able to result in faster return of urinary continence. Our technique of MALP is one of the only published techniques that not only preserves urinary control, but also the penile length, a very important factor for most men. 90% of our patients are perfectly contoured at one month and 97% at three months and almost 100% are contoured by six months. Using our technique of clipless nerve preservation and the use of the dehydrated human amniotic membrane grafts, we are able to show that 93% of men are able to have erections sufficient for sexual intercourse within three to six months. Almost 97% of our patients get erections by one year. The majority of our patients, of course, get erections within 60 days of their surgery. Thank you for listening. Please watch our YouTube channel for further episodes. Thank you.